5,000 people have been told to evacuate their homes because of a California wildfire. Hundreds of firefighters, along with 16 planes, are battling the massive fire in San Bernardino. Plumes of smoke can be seen rolling across the Mojave Desert to Las Vegas. People in 375 homes had already been given the order to leave. Sounds like they could use some of the rain we're going to be seeing over the next few days. Yeah, if we could only give them about an inch of what we're going to get, we'd still get plenty. We're talking about a soggy forecast, Steve. Mm -hmm. Take a look at pinpoint Doppler. Scattered showers continuing across the region, moving northeast. And notice southeastern Kentucky actually remaining dry for this portion. And what that means, well, if southeastern Kentucky is remaining dry, areas north of that going to pretty stay dry. But we still have a few hours here for showers to develop. We'll quickly watch that. But notice overall, as we take a look at regional and satellite radar, you'll notice that we're watching this stationary front centered across the areas just to our southeast, an area of high pressure centered off to the east, and that's providing these rain showers to come more of a northerly flow, not from the west that we always see traveling east, more from the south to north. So we'll continue to watch that track throughout the evening hours. Temperatures 88 degrees in Jackson, 82 in Louisville, a little bit warmer than expected and what we forecasted for in here in eastern Kentucky, but we could deal with that. 89 degrees in Prestonsburg, 89 in Paintsville. We'll take the dry days when we could get them because it's going to be a soggy forecast for us here in eastern Kentucky. Models continue to trend pretty soggy here. 89 degrees in Boonville, 87 in Richmond. You'll notice these smaller communities still looking at temperatures around the upper 80s, even 91 in Jackson. And rainfall, it's very sparse and really hard to find. You're looking at just a tenth of an inch in Boonville and over there close to four hundredths of an inch far in our western viewing Gary. Now the 24 hours overall isolated and dry conditions eventually fade out and we'll start to look at more patchy fog for your morning commute. Showers by two and then tomorrow around six o'clock more scattered storms going to be developing. Notice patchy fog, calm conditions and by Wednesday more scattered storms here and soggy and active as we head in the late week portion. Now future view puts this rain showers really uh, diminishing throughout the overnight hours but as we head into your Wednesday and Thursday, more scattered activity in the afternoon. That brings in more rounds here and more rain chances for us in eastern Kentucky. So once we watch this into your Thursday, Thursday, even more widespread coverage. And that's what you'll see as far as the accumulation goes. Notice anywhere around a tenth of an inch in some localized or isolated areas. But then we head into your Wednesday, more rain, especially up to the north. And then by Thursday, we start to get even more rain falling across eastern Kentucky. This gives us an additional tenth and more rain is expected. We see that here on our seven day forecast. Showers and storms at 50% throughout the weekend and really even into Monday as we start next week. And if models continue to suggest, well, this cold front moving through cooler temperatures, we might just have to increase those rain chances when we get closer. But Steve, at least temperatures are cooling off, but we could really only take about an inch of rain. I don't know about two inches or anything like that. Yeah, hopefully uh, not too much. Thank you, Andrew.